hey guys your brother here and welcome to your random brother youtube channel i've been recording after a long time now so there are a lot of things that i want to talk about but before going to that i would just like to tell you that uh, if you haven't checked out my previous video i would suggest please do go and check it out because there are a lot of things that you want to make you guys catch up with and one of those things is audio so if you guys haven't checked out my previous videos i suggest please go check it out and you will get the whole idea what i'm talking about after this so the links are gonna be either in the description below or in the card so you guys can definitely go and check that out and coming back to the topic that i was supposed to tell you is that why i'm talking about this I have to understand that uh, before all this corona thing ever happened i just had two videos on my channel and I won't say that they were good enough but they were okay-ish and I wanted to bring my personality into the channel so that is where I thought that I will be giving the audio by myself in my own voice to the channel but as soon as I started to record things again the whole corona shenanigan started happening so because of that I had to return back to home. So if you guys have been following me in my blog or you have been following me in my podcast which of course I have all the links down below you guys can definitely go and check out you might be knowing that I am a person who lives in a hostel and because I live in a hostel it gives me a kind of a creative freedom because I'm more of a shy kind of a person so it gives me a creative freedom that I have ever wanted and gives me the ability to talk to you guys but because of the corona virus I had to get back to my home and then i had to start with my life which was basically just sitting around in the home watching tv and being surrounded by my family all the time so recording stuff was quite difficult so i came up with a dumb solution of using a software to make up a voice that would be helping me to make videos and at that time that seemed to be a pretty wise idea i thought that yes i can pull it off and somehow i ended up making three to four videos with that audio and at first i pretty much liked that software and use it all the time because i thought that this is a good way for communicating to people without even me having to give my voice to my own videos which i know was a wrong thing to do but i did so anyways fast forward to today and uh, i would like to say that uh, from now on i'll be trying to give my own voice to all my videos and try to make things right like in a way that i have not been faithful to you guys because i have been using a different software for just making videos so if you guys feel that i should do more videos in my voice or the previous way was good enough for you guys like where uh, software used to do all the talking and all so please do let me know in the comments below or in the comments of those videos as well so it's quite fine with me i'm comfortable in whatever you want so that being said let's start off with today's topic then as a minimalist myself i would like to say that i like things to be simple like i like the way if things are kept in a proper way in a clean way and things are simple to arrange and if the things are kept like that but for most of the times whenever it comes to packing your stuff for a trip or a travel or a weekend i guess a lot of us face issues and problems like what are we supposed to pack and what should we have on a trip and by now after wasting a lot of your time i know what you guys might be thinking that come on dude it's simple you pack a few clothes you pack whatever you need and you just take off but according to me that's not how it's done according to me that doesn't bring me the satisfaction of packing your bag it feels like yeah you're doing just or a normal basic stuff before you go and get to your plane but i would say you're not wrong at all at most of the times you are right yes you're supposed to pack your clothes like just imagine going going to a destination without your clothes like oh my god that's like a worst nightmare come true but over here we are going to discuss like what can we do to keep our burden as small or to keep the difficulty level of what we are going to face in terms of packing our bags to the minimum as possible. And yes, I've tried to break this down in the form of a list, even though not a huge one and I'm trying to keep it as small as possible. It's not going to be a huge list, it's going to be a small list. So moving forward with our list, number one, clothes. 
Now, of course, we all knew that it is going to be there because having clothes in a trip is an integral part of your trip because, come on, we are not living in an ancient civilization where you can just roam around naked. So it's pretty obvious that you need clothes. But what kind of clothes? So when I say clothes, we should keep in mind that whenever we go out, we should keep in mind that it depends a lot upon a few factors like what is the duration of your stay and what is the weather that it is uh, going to be to the place where you are going to visit. So these kind of things play a major role whenever you guys are thinking back and it can be a hectic thing because before going out obviously you have to check the weather you have to know what is the weather going to be like and to keep track with the weather i suggest that you go check the weather updates of the entire duration of your stay in the place wherever you are going no matter where it is you should check the weather you're not gonna be like wearing summer clothes in a freaking winter or you're not gonna be wearing summer clothes in a rainy season so you have to check out the weather that is going on in the place the kind of a climate that the place has so you can decide accordingly if you are supposed to wear a jacket or just a t-shirt will be fine and the other factor that i was talking about is the duration of the stay this is because it will help you decide how many of the clothes that are necessary to be with you in this trip and what is or what are the stuffs that are not required in your trip it helps you in a way to make a list in your head that will be important for you in the long run as it will be helping you to know that how many stuffs are on you like how many things are you carrying with yourself and not only that how much of a space is it going to take in a way it helps you to plan a lot of the things beforehand like how many of the bags you will be requiring and what all are you carrying with you so it is a fantastic thing if you make a list according to me in a way it is the most satisfactory thing to do number two list it up now as we have already talked about making list of the things mentally I suggest you do it physically as well. Not of the number of clothes that you're carrying with yourself because it is something that you can easily count and just remember the number that you are carrying with yourself. Like just remember the number of clothes that you are carrying with yourself. But the number of electronics that you're carrying with yourself. Because losing cell phone chargers, micro SD cards, if you're a photographer or a video person, person who records a lot of videos is easy. So I personally and uh, usually whenever I'm supposed to go out, I make a, a list, of, list of things that I require and keep it with me in a pocket or in a pocket of a bag somewhere in the bag so that it is accessible to me whenever I want it. Now moving on to number three in the list is choosing the right partner. Now choosing a right partner doesn't mean what you're thinking. What it means is what kind of a bag you should choose before going for a trip. And it is at this point that the previous two points come into play because only after the first two steps are done you can initiate the third step. Now I know in most of the cases this is not a big deal because after you have chosen what you are going to pack it is quite simple to know that what you are going to take as a bag or what you are going to choose as a bag. Now what I personally do is I check the possibility of mobility as well. I check if there is something that I can do with the bag that helps me to move fast and quick. And to be honest, the smaller the bag, the better. And the trick is to fit in a lot of things in the small bag. So yes, in the mobility perspective, this gives you a lot of advantage. Like yes, you can move with a bag which is small enough. But if you are someone who is carrying a lot of things with him or her, you can definitely go and grab a bigger bag which uh, I, I don't know if it is called the strolly or something like that uh, which has wheels and all those stuff so yes you can definitely go use that bag and to be honest it is something that is completely dependent on you like what you want to choose it's your wish it boils down to the fact that what kind of things that you are carrying with yourself and what are the things that you want to take in this take in the trip with you so that's it for today guys I think the video is going to be short today or long as you see it because uh, I pretty much said what I wanted to say and uh, and according to me these are the things that are of major importance when it comes to traveling in a minimalistic way because 
Minimalism, according to me, is something that makes you comfortable with what you have rather than getting rid of everything that you have. So I think that I'm quite comfortable with these kind of stuff. Like the less the things that I carry, the more I get to enjoy on life rather than being upset or just tensed about what I'm carrying and what I have lost. So I'm going to keep it short today and this is all I wanted to say. And as always, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like the podcast, do share it. If you like the blog, do share it. Whatever might be the case, do like, share and subscribe no matter wherever you are listening to this, either on a podcast or you're watching a, or you're reading a blog or you're watching a, a video. Do like, share and subscribe. It helps me a lot and keeps me motivated to keep making videos. Thank you. That's it for today, guys. It's your brother signing off.